What's up, guys? Today, I know I sound frustrated already, because I know I'm going to be, so I'm already putting myself in the frustrated mood. Today, I'm changing door handles. Now, problem is, I'm not an expert on changing door handles. I'm not even going to know how to explain it to you guys. I'm probably not going to show you the process of how to do it. Might put you guys in a time lapse or something, but i um, been looking at a couple YouTube videos. Hopefully, they help. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, though, is um, change the lock because that's the whatever European car this is from. That's that's his lock. I want my lock on there so I can use my key still. I do have an alarm on it so I can, you know, use my doo -doo to unlock it. But, you know, just in case, I'd like to just unlock it with my key. Got one problem, though. When I ordered these, you know, I got them. I was all excited. I'm like, cool. I, I always wanted these. And I put them on the shelf, right? Never looked at them again till now. And I just realized this one's actually broken. So, <laughs> uh, the part I'm missing is the part that actually latches into the door. Luckily, I still have my old handle. So, I'm going to see. I don't know if it's possible. It looks pretty hard, but I'm going to see if I could swap this part off that and put it on there. And hopefully have a working door handle because that sucks i really should have inspected closer but i figured they were good and i pulled the handle and it moved and i was like okay well it looks like a working door handle didn't realize it was missing a part so that sucks so i guess i'm gonna do that first all right i've been working on this for about 30 minutes um it's a mess uh getting frustrated because it's it's working but it's not working it's working on all except one can't get this uh lock key out now to get them out it's not too difficult of a process there's a little pin right here and you take your little uh you know a little something small and the hammer and just kind of hammer the pin out the pin comes out all that cap comes off because it's held on by the pin and then you put your key in any key you got and you can slide it out and there you go and i could take that and Put it in the next handle and so forth and so forth. But for some reason, this one is different. This does not have the same setup as everything else. This one had a separate pin and a separate thing. And the one I'm looking, the instructional video I had was this one. But the part that sucks is he said you need the key for this. So I. I'm stuck because I don't have the key for this Euro handle. I only have the key for my handle. Even though this is a Euro handle, this one comes out, there's a different setup. So I guess maybe they changed the setup on that one and that one you need a key. I don't know, is this driver's side? I guess it's driver's side, so I don't know. That sucks, but the rest are fine. It's just this one messing with it for another like 10 minutes or so it's starting to come out i sprayed it i think it was probably just corroded i mean it looked pretty old but i, I haven't gotten it that far before it was just like barely moving but looks like it's trying to come out so maybe i will get it out oh oh it's coming slowly but surely i think um it probably is better if you do have a key the key that goes goes to this i think that's the problem I think it looks like I got sold a driver and a passenger side, but it doesn't look like it's the matching side because my key works better in that one than it does in this one. So that's my guess. <laughs> I got it. I got it. All right, let's switch these keys out. Ah! I didn't think I'd get it. All right, now I figured out why this one is so different. The one I was having problem getting out the most. It's actually different. You see how it's like a solid hole in there? The rest of them actually have holes at the top. So I'm actually struggling trying to put my key in there because my key has an arrow. It has an arrow at the top and it doesn't go past there. Now it does push in, so I guess maybe I can push it in and just stay in place long enough for me to 
slam it in there, but I'll try that in a minute. But yes, this is a completely different type of door. That's, that's stupid. All right, so I found another problem. <laughs> this is so annoying. Um, I, I knew I was gonna be frustrated. But uh, here's the one that it comes with. And you see it has no like arrow indication or anything. Or, you know, it just goes straight in, it's all flat. This one has the uh, arrow. And that's what I thought was getting hooked. But actually, after further review, looking at them side by side, this has a step. And this one's just like more rounded. So this doesn't even go all the way through. And of course, if you go this way, going that way, but here it sits flush. This one does not sit flush. It stops, so it doesn't even go all the way through. So there's no way I can get this into this locking mechanism. Now, I don't know if I can switch this mechanism. I'm gonna try. I don't think I can, but We'll see, hopefully I can, and then if I can, I'll just put my, no, that's actually all one piece. No, I can't change that. Shit, man. Well, I'm gonna have to put this one back in there, and I guess I'm gonna have to call a locksmith to make me a key for that. That's the best I can do. A waste of time. But I will switch the other one so at least passenger side works since that is like regular, so. <sighs> this sucks. There you have it. Successfully did one. It's my key and the motorsport handle. Lock, unlock. Nice. That was the easy one though. I'm still working on the hard one, trying to put the old key back in there. But um, it's kind of hard because since the key doesn't, this isn't the key for that, it's not pushing all the locks and things down so i'm really struggling with that one i'll get it eventually hopefully i'm also going to switch the switch with my old switch because uh when you turn it there's a little switch back there and i think that switch when you hit that switch it sends the electronics down to here and i think that's what unlocks the doors uh this side looks okay but this side looks corroded and I highly doubt that even works. So, I mean, it's not hard to switch. It's held on by a little pin. Just kind of pop that off to something flat and then pull it off a tab and you just swap it out. So that's pretty easy. I've been working on this for like 30 minutes, completely disassembled the thing, trying to figure out how I can make the one style key work with the other key, and it, it just doesn't. Three different door handles, one style, one door handle. Driver's side, of course, is a completely different style, and I can't make the other styles match with the other styles so I'm just gonna have to go with my original plan and call a locksmith so I'm about to put it back together with um, their key and go from there I haven't even got to the part of putting them in yet <laughs> this is oh god Okay, well I got one successful key switch, but if you remember in the beginning of the video, I had another dilemma. Um, I gotta put this part onto here because that's broke. I don't know where, I don't, I don't know where it's at. I don't know where it's at. But that looks really difficult because uh, I don't even know if you can take that thing off. I might have to drill it or something. I'm gonna try not to, but I don't know any other option. Same thing on here. That's uh, yeah, it doesn't look like that bolt is ever supposed to come out. So that should be fun. And if you're thinking of saying uh, you should just buy another one, these things two hundred dollars, man. I think I paid two twenty shipped. And it took like over a month to get here. They're from overseas. I'm not paying another $200 for one little piece. I'm going to figure this out. And that's, that's it.
Shut up. That's all I needed right there. Now I gotta do it to the other side. This thing is flared, so I had to kind of drill it, use pliers on it, hammer it, as you just saw. Just trying to get it rounded so I can actually pull this thing off out of that hole right there. Now I gotta do the same thing on the other side and then put that new part on and unflare it or reflare it. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. All right, first part is done. Well, se first, second part is done. I have full, complete door handles. I even added the new, not new, but known working electronics from my old door handles. And uh, now for the fun part, <laughs> putting them in. All right, I'm back in the garage now. Time to put this uh, door handle in. I looked at some YouTube videos. They didn't help. I just, whatever, I'll figure it out. Uh, let this be a lesson. Don't ever let your car sit for over a year because I have no idea where none of my damn screws are. I've been looking over there and my junk of stuff over there and I don't know where they are. There's bins of full of screws. They might be buried in there somewhere, but hey. I'm gonna try to at least get it in place and then find the bolts later. If I get desperate enough, I'll take the bolts from the other E36. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna push this car outside first so I can get as much sunlight as I can because it is kind of dark under the door handle. <sighs> it's my favorite part. I've been dreading this for like a year. Ever since I got these things, I've been dreading this job. I swear to God. can't get it man bull see I looked at other tutorials and they look like they had a decent time doing it but they have power to the car they could put the window down loosen it and then tilt it forward I have no power to the car so I can't move my window and my window is blocking me from moving it up to the damn door handle I'm trying this for 30 minutes man can't get it Damn. It's in there. I was able to loosen the windows from the clips. I don't know how I'm gonna get them back in there. And then tilt the window forward just enough to squeeze that up there. I did scratch it a little bit, but hell, it's a price price to pay right there. I left a part out, which fell off the striker. This is how you unlock the door from the inside. And to get that on there, it's hooked. I gotta take the striker back out. I'm turning the camera off. Y'all y'all might see this shit when it's done. I'm fucking sick of this shit. Alright, it's 9.25. Started this project at like 1. Told you I was not looking forward to it. I knew it was going to be frustrating and damn it if it wasn't. Um, still not perfect, but they're in. Um, like I said, I'm missing all my bolts and stuff. There's supposed to be another bolt like a thick bolt I just put a regular screw in there just to hold it in place and of course it tightens right here too so it'll actually be tighter than this. this this side works of course you have to yank it a little bit because it's not really bolted in but this side works this side doesn't it's really frustrating I don't know what I did wrong I mean everything's in place I put tape on it this time so I wouldn't scratch the hell out of it 
which looks like it kind of worked. Some nicks on it, but um, yeah, I don't know what is wrong with this side. I guess there's fingerprints all over my shit. I've been I've been working. What can I say? But this one, it's just I don't know. It's a pain in the ass. Like I can get it, but it seems like the inside just doesn't flex as much as the other side. So. But I feel like I'm probably going to break it trying to open it on camera right now. But I have got it a couple times. But, yeah. So that's really, really frustrating. I don't know what's wrong with it. I got one door handle. 200 bucks, 8 hours for one fucking door handle. It's fucking bullshit. That's all I got. Good night. Deuces, whatever.